And we are go for the sprint race in round seven of the FIA Formula 3 Championship here at Silverstone. And Taylor Barnard in P3 goes round the outside of Johnny Edgar in that orange MP car and goes straight into second place. Mixed conditions as they hit the brakes down towards Village Corner for the first time. A few drivers finding the limit. And there we can see that looks like the Williams Academy driver, Franco Colapinto, diving up the inside. He goes into second place. A good start from our pole sitter, Sebastian Monto Montoya. But Franco Colapinto on a charge here, Alex Brundle. Brilliant move from Franco Colapinto. Now can he hold on to it as they head down to Brooklyn's Edgar having a look around the outside. Lockups in the background, but Montoya sitting pretty after a beautiful start out front, powering through the exit of Luffield. Taylor Barnard slots into third place, joining the Edgar in fourth. Let's keep an eye for Gregoire Saucy, don't forget, in the number eight, white and black ART. He is on the wet tyres, but we have the two Campos drivers side by side, Pepe Marti and Christian Mansell into Cops Corner. Christian Mansell goes round the outside. Pepe Marti trying to get through as they now go up towards Maggots and Beckett. Are we going to see side by side action through here on the first lap? Yes, we are. And Pepe Marti goes by Christian Mansell, but he's not having any of it. There's still side by side as we get to the end of the section fantastic racing and a move made by Pepe Marti and Taylor Barnard is up to second and now Paul Aron in that red and white Prima racing car gets down the inside he was on a charge last time at the Red Bull ring don't forget and Johnny Edgar really falling down the order struggling to get those tires up to temperature Paul Aron and Gabriel Bortoletto go side by side and Bortoletto goes all the way around the outside and now back down the inside into the loop fantastic driving from the championship leader Look at Luke Browning, look at Gabriel Portoletto. Two great battles going on. We've got Browning trying to get on the podium in his home race. And we've got championship leader Gabriel Portoletto trying to make a place down at Vell. We ride on board with him now. He sells the dummy but can't quite get down the inside. Whoa, they've both gone a little bit wide there, Alex, as we now come through club corner. And that's going to be a place gained for Gabriel Portoletto. Fantastic driving. There is a little bit of shower. Drive clean, keep it on track. It should pass in about four to five minutes. Safety car is out, and I imagine that's just for the conditions here, Alex, because the rain, very, very heavy out there. Yeah, uh, entirely for the conditions. More drivers coming in here. So we've had drivers taking gambles uh, to come in. Now, I think Paul Aaron was one of them. Luke Browning is another. Pepe Marti, I think that's Oli Gertha behind him. Zach O'Sullivan is in, Johnny Edgar is in. Mary Boyer, Max Esterson and Mackenzie Cresswell uh, who are in. This is turning into a fascinating Formula 3 race and we're behind the safety car, Alex. This is going to be an absolutely fascinating end to this sprint race here at Silverstone. And Montoya has gone for it for the first time at racing speed. Into Vale, goes in, tips the car in, just trying to get through nice and safely. Taylor Barnard just behind him, looking to get a home win and become the first British driver to win here at Silverstone as they come across the start finish line. Taylor Barnard immediately getting on the attack. Oh, and contact's been made. Montoya spinning round them manages to get the car back in a straight line but that's allowed Franco Colapinto to go straight into the lead of the race. Bortoletto into second Alex. Yeah and look at Boganovic already making his way up into that top 10. They've got so much more grip and purchase at this stage. On board with Boganovic he can drive the car absolutely anywhere oh. he wants to through these slick shot runners but he needs to avoid contact. And Paul Aron's gone up to eighth place. He's another driver that put on the wet tyres. Here they come now. You can see the slick drivers trying to warm up those tyres as they make their way down towards Brooklyn's. And Paul Aron in the red and white Prima, dead in the middle of your screen. He is firing his way through the top ten here. His teammate Dino Beganovic doing the same just behind. And Luke Browning there in that dark blue high-tech Pulse 8 Williams car goes round the outside of two drivers like they're standing still. This is a fascinating battle crossover point has come so uh, the moment when they charged through they did to, they needed to get as far ahead as they possibly could because the track has dried so quickly here look at Montoya this is some recovery drive he's about to go charging by the two Prima racing teammates and you can see him there trying to get his foot down out of Maggots and Beckett's he goes by Dino Beganovic Paul Aaron was neck and as he's on the slick tires he should just be able to do this in a straight line and that he does he's up to P8 now 
This yeah. is third and fourth. Yep, Caio Collet trying to get round the outside of Christian Mansell. Christian Mansell wants his first podium, but can Caio Collet take him away from him on the final lap of the sprint race here at Silverstone? It's been an absolutely fascinating race, and this battle yet from finish. We've got half a lap still to go. Who's going to be the last driver to stand on the podium? Will it be Mansell or will it be Collet? Collet's going to try and go round the outside of Cops. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, and Collet backs out of it in the end. It's been a superb drive in one of the most fascinating Formula 3 races you will ever see. And out front, it's going to be a win for Franco Colapinto. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Gabriel Bortoletto on the podium once again. He finishes in second to further extend his championship lead. And Christian Mansell takes his first ever podium in third place. Superb driving from the Campos driver. Caio Collet is fourth place. And Gabriel mini in fifth place this the battle for the final point and the winner of the wet runners and they are side by side in towards stone corner we've got aaron versus marty and aaron's run wide and that will allow pepe marty to go through all he has to do now is hang on but we've got someone on the uh, we've got one of the genza cars that looks like coming round the uh, outside but it looks like will pepe marty be able to hold on to this just about i think he slides out of the final corner it was Alex Garcia uh, who was behind. Absolutely brilliant stuff. First win for Franco Colapinto this season with MP Motorsport. Gabriel Bortoletto, championship leader, finishes in second. A first podium for Christian Mansell in Formula 3. A superb performance, Alex. Yeah, brilliant performance from Colapinto. Tough to keep your head as well when you're out yeah. in front. MP Motorsport doing a fabulous job, represented on the podium quite rightly. Um, but these are the days when the drivers are earning their position on the podium.